now I am going to cover this uh, testing data ok so here under the testing we have a data and uh, we have a verification here we have a test data queue and the first uh, we, we have covered these verification activities now I am going to cover this data how to use this data ok this data is nothing but let's say you know I am going to uh, uh, test some uh, uh, flows so I need some random data then you can use this uh, data activities so let's say now uh, let me uh, create a new sequence for uh, this one data okay let's take this uh, last name and uh, last name and given name okay so I will come bind both last name given name so drag and drop this last name and the moment you drag and drop the last name okay and uh, so the given name drag and drop given name create a variable control k given name and here the last name control k last name enter and also you can drag and drop some message box here message box for given name ok call your variable and drag and drop one main message box for last name okay so it will you know it, it will give you the uh, uh, no, uh, last name and given name so in the random wise so let's run this click continue so see the given name is la and then last name is this one now again run this okay continue see there is a different result so given name is Elvin and the last name is Anatas so again if you ran okay so this the given name is Fisher and the last name is Timpad so this is how no, it will randomly pick the uh, last name and given name if you needed some places this kind of uh, last name and first name to verify some other uh, application or RP workflow you can use this okay so and also we have a couple of other activities on the data so we have uh, okay we have checked this given name last name and what is this random date so if you drag and off a random date here and you need to uh, give that you know minimum date and maximum date so within this date range it will give you the uh, random date so let's go and create a new sequence random date and drag and drop random date and uh, let's give date like you know from uh, 1st March to end of this March and create a variable random date enter and then message box drag and drop and you can use random date and you can step into click on country so here you see a random date 329 and if you step into again if you click it will give you other date 316 so you can use this as an input okay let's say you have a you have developed a website there is a from day to day and also there was there is a uh, option uh, in the March okay so in the month option so if I select January okay if I select January it should accept only that from day to date only within from date should be within uh, Jan and also the date the end date also it should be within uh, uh, this uh, Jan right 
if i give the february date it should not uh, accept it so we cannot test it you know each and every time manually uh, changing the dates right one two three something like that then you can use this random data activity and whatever the output you are getting you can pass it uh, there and you can test it okay that's how you get this uh, these testing data activities will work and let's i will show you a couple of other uh, test data activities the random number also so let's create a one more sequence to check random numbers so random numbers also same so it's very simple random number drag and drop random number okay and the minimum number you can give uh, minimum number 10 and the maximum number you can give uh, um, 20 and then this is random number and the message box you can add message box and drag and drop message box here random number okay just go here click on step into and click step into click on continue and random number is 12 and again step into and click on continue so now you see the random number was 40 okay so if you required some random numbers you can choose this uh, random number so after that we have a couple of others so you can use a random value random string you can use random string also it's similar to random number the random string it will produce the random string okay so i will cover that as well so random string So it's very simple drag and drop random string and uh, here it's asking you uh, whether it is whether you, you need random string in the lower case or upper case or camel case or mixed case so i am going to use this camel case and the length should be seven then create output random string and add a message box here random string so now you go click on step into and click on continue now you see there is a random string and again if you step into continue and there was different random string so this is how it will produce automatically it will uh, it will give you the data sets okay on the random uh, string so then we have other couple of things random value okay so address we can uh, okay i will cover the address as well go here create address and create it so address to check address uh, we need to write uh, a small expression that will i cover so drag and drop uh, address is here and select your uh, country so I'm going to you know, select country like uh, Australia okay I'm going to select country so within Australia I can select uh, uh, a city Melbourne okay so I'm asking hey could you provide some random address uh, from the country Australia and Melbourne city yes create a variable random address add your address then drag and drop right line to write an expression okay it's a very simple expression only no need and uh, to uh, get your uh, address so i want to make this make that a particular address in the new line so here i'm going to add small uh, expression that is string okay string dot join open bracket environment environment dot new line and uh, comma random addresses okay dot select open bracket function open bracket x 
dot x dot valid. Okay, it's a very simple one. So just now I'm getting the random address and I'm converting it as a new line. Okay, and splitting it. Okay, so now you just go here and add a message box to see the result. The so same uh, string I'm taking here as well. Okay, and go and click step into and click continue. So now you see Australia Melbourne there is address Victoria 3052 this is a kind of address again step into and continue this is the different address okay so that's how you can use this address activity uh, so wherever now if you required as a data set okay so let's say random value okay so in order to check here if you drag and drop random value and it's asking the file name so I'm going here and I'm going into project panel in the project explorer I'm going to create a notepad okay here random value and here in the random value and uh, so I'm going to add something apple and orange and something like UI path automation anyway BP and something like this okay save and close it and go back to studio <coughs> so here provide the path of this file okay so I'm going to provide the path of file here copy as path so I added a path so here I'm creating a variable that is random value and then you can add a message box random value here okay if I step into and click there is orange if I again do step into it's a BP if I click again step into it's bringing some other value okay UI path so let's say uh, you want to give a lot of you no know, a, a lot of inputs uh, to test the application with a different combination so you cannot give manually so then you can create a, a notepad and you can add you know, a lot of uh, whatever you uh, want to keep there and then you can you know use that uh, this particular random value and uh, then check it okay let's say uh, you have a created a website okay so you have a created a website and uh, where uh, that is a place you now where you are you know entering the username or uh, yeah entering the username uh, but the use the, there you have uh, no some combination uh, you need to check it should not be more than seven letters so it should be you know um, uh, up uh, lower case or something you can add all the combination here use this random value and you can get it to uh, you can use this test data to your test your application so that's how you we can utilize this uh, uh, test data. Uh, from the test suit okay so now I am going to move all this uh, random date and uh, this uh, to the uh, different folder that is a uh, test data and uh, so select this address move this last name move this and the uh, random numbers move into test data the random value also more into this
So now we have covered about uh, uh, test data, how to use these activities and how to use these verification activities and the next session I'm going to cover how to test application. Okay, so assume that you have a created application. How to test that application uh, using these activities? Okay.